Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and this is Black Friday week. And the number one question I get asked on pretty much all of my battery station reviews is, what is the one battery station that you recommend the most that has the best all around performance? I've got two that I've got to show you this week. And the first one that I'm gonna show you is one that I probably recommend as my top go-to best all around choice if you just need to get one power station with the ability to power anything that you're gonna throw at it and the amount of features that it has built in it. To me, it is probably one of the best buys. So with that said, this is the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. And she is a beast. I've had this thing for over a month now and I've put it through a lot of different uses around the house and while at camp. So this review video is not going to technically be a review video and I'm not going to go over all of the testing that I do on power stations because that has been overdone on this power station hundreds of thousands of times on YouTube and I'm not going to do that. What I am going to show you coming up here is how I have used this to show you folks what you can use this thing with in everyday life scenarios to show you how well this product performs in my opinion. So with that guys, take a look of how I use this power station around my house and while at camp. So as you can see by all of those, I couldn't find a situation that this AC200 Max would not perform excellent at. This thing is built like an absolute tank. It is heavy. It is not backpackable. This is going to be a stationary power station. It is expandable up to 8200 watts. I don't have the B230 or the B300 expandable battery, unfortunately, so I'm not even going to talk about how that stuff works with this because I don't have those batteries to, to demonstrate to you folks. But just know that if you get this, you can expand this unit up to over 8,000 watt hours. Inside the AC200 Max though was 2,048 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. So you're gonna get over 3,000 cycles of this thing before it degrades to 80%, just like pretty much all other LiPo4 battery stations. This thing can take 900 watts of solar input plus 400 watts of AC charging brick, and you can combine those. So the fact that you can put that much solar on this thing makes this a true RV slash camping type power station in my opinion, if you have enough solar panels because you can recharge during the day what this thing is gonna use at camp all night long. So that makes this really invaluable, the fact that it can take up to 900 watts. So I find that really, really beneficial. You know, the, the wireless charging makes it easy to throw your phones on top of, it's just, in my opinion only, and, and Blue Eddy isn't paying me to say this, this is probably the best power station to buy if you just need an all-in-one good portable power station. You know, the inverter on this thing can power appliances up to 2200 watts continuously, or it has a surge capacity of 4800 watts. That is a lot of capacity if you need to power a device that has a huge startup amount. 4,800 watts out of this guy, and it's gonna keep running it up to 2,200 watt. Pretty much anything around the house, 2,200 watts and below, this thing will run it fine, and there's not a whole lot of appliances that need more wattage than that. So I think you're gonna be fine, especially at camp or in an RV, unless you're running a 14 or 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit, and of course you're not gonna use be using this one. You also got Bluetooth built in, so you can monitor and track this thing via the phone, and you know, all that stuff's been, been kinda overplayed on YouTube, so everyone's done 
done the reviews on this. I just wanted to give my opinion on this because it is Black Friday week. And you can get this unit right now. I don't know how long it's going to last the sale, but right now this is going for $15.99 on Amazon. And that is about 300 bucks less than standard retail price. So that's around 78 cents a watt hour. And I do a lot of battery reviews and 78 cents a watt hour on a lot of these don't get you half of the features that this unit offers. So that is a fantastic deal if you guys want to jump on it. And you know, Blue Eddie sent me a $10 coupon to give to you guys also. So it's not a lot, you know, but I guess anything helps. So I can give a $10 discount in the description below if you guys are looking for this. And I'll, and I'll include the link. I don't get paid if you go buy it. Blue Eddie's not going to send me a kickback if you go buy this unit or not. So don't think I'm just trying to sell this to you because I don't get paid for it. But I do have a $10 dis discount code and I will also post the link down below for you guys if you're, if you're interested in this to see that $15.99 price tag. So to sum things up, in my opinion, if I were to go pick one battery station to use in my RV or my camper or just to have around the house in the event of an emergency, I can think of two. This is one of them and this is probably my most recommended version is this Blue 80 AC200 Mac. I can't find anything wrong with it or anything that I really dislike about it. I would have loved to be able to test out the expandable batteries on this and show you guys how that works, but again, I don't have the batteries to do that, so I apologize for that, but there's a ton of reviews on YouTube that actually show this being hooked up to those expandable batteries to make this thing a giant workhorse. So folks, again, that wasn't really an in-depth technical specification type review. I really just wanted to showcase what this unit does for me and how I use it and how you can use it if you so choose to buy one. And between Blue Eddy and the other big name brand that I'm sure you can think of, um, again, this is probably my most favorite to date just due to the features, the price, the chemistry of the battery, 900 watts of solar. You know, it, it just, it's, a, it's wrapped up all in one really good package. And I used this on the last camping trip and it did great and I've used it around the house and it's performed great. So I do highly recommend this unit. And um, again, all the links will be posted down, down below. But, but folks, that's gonna wrap up this review for this battery station. Um, I hope everyone's having a great Thanksgiving. And if you are interested, check out the links and you'll be able to pick this thing up at a really good price, in my opinion. If you are in the market and looking at these bigger power stations, uh, this is the week to go pick one of these things up. So folks, that's it for this AC200 Max. I hope you enjoyed the non-technical review this time and just kind of real world type usage. And uh, we will see you folks next time. So stay tuned, take care, and have a happy Thanksgiving. See ya.